Okay. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a contour and highlight video. And I know we've done one before, but this is more of an updated video because I don't really use the products I used in that video before. And these products I'm using today are so much better in my opinion, and they won't break your bank, which is always a plus. That's what I always look for because I don't really like spending so much money on a whole bunch of makeup. I mean, I do kind of spend some money, but whatever. That's besides the point. I'm using the NYX, Con <laughs> the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Cream Palette and the NYX Contour Palette in powder version. So that's what I'm using, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Keep watching, and let's get to it. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the cream highlight, and I'm going to be using the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette, and it is in the color Light. And I'm going to be taking this yellow color right here to contour, or to highlight my face. And I'm using the Morphe Brushes G26 brush. I think it's just supposed to be a eyeshadow brush, but I use it for concealer and you know, con uh, highlighting my face. So I'm just gonna swirl it around there. And so I already have my foundation on and I used the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color Natural Buff or the number 103. And I'm just going to put this where I need my highlights. And I'm just gonna go down in like a triangle, like that. I'm gonna put some on my chin right here. So I have on my chin, right here on my cupid's bow. Down my nose. and on my forehead like that so that's how i highlight my face and to just buff that out and blend it i use the morphe brushes g2 brush i forget the name i think it's just like a pointed buffer because it's like dome shaped and it's really nice so that's what I'm going to be using to just blend this out. And I'm not really going to go like in circles. I'm more like patting it and just trying to blend that out a little bit, but not really swirling it around. And then I'm just going to do the first side. Okay, so now that's all highlighted. Now I'm going to be using 
this dark brown color right here to contour my face. And I really like this color for the light palette because it is more of a cool toned brown, which means it looks more natural like a shadow instead of a warm tone kind of brown because that's more of a bronzy type of color and that doesn't look so well when you're trying to contour. So for this one, I'm using the Morphe Brushes G30 contour brush and it looks just like that. It's really, really good for contouring, especially I use it only for cream products. So I use it basically only with this to contour my face and I really like it. It's such a good brush and it's so much cheaper than the NARS Eda brush, which I really, really like too, but I'm not going to be spending like $60 on a brush. So this is my favorite brush. So as always, I'm going to start up here at the top of my ear and then go down, but not too down, not with this contour, or not with this, con not with this cream color because I don't want it to go all the way down yet because I can just blend it. So I'm just going to start like that. I'm going to go a little further and that's pretty much all. And then the same on the other side. So I'm just going to blend that out. I like doing it in circle motions going upward because you don't want it to go downward. That defeats the whole purpose of contour. So go up. Get it right here in my temple. I'm gonna go and use what's ever left on my brush and contour my forehead right here. Okay, so now that I'm done with the cream contour, the next part is I'm <laughs> the next part I'm going to do is the rest of my highlight, which is just putting on some concealer on top of that, just because right here underneath my eyes it doesn't always conceal everything and make it super bright. So I use this on top of it, just right here, to help up help with that. And I'm using the NYX HD Concealer in Beige. This is my favorite concealer. I love it better than the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is definitely a lot more blendable. I love it. So I'm just going to put that on. And I'm going to blend that out. And now to set the highlight, I'm going to be using the NYX Contour Palette. And I'm going to be using a mixture of the yellow and, if you can tell, yellow. This one's yellow. I don't know if you can tell that well. Yellow and this um, cream color. It kind of looks like white, but it's not. So I'm just going to mix that in. And I'm using the MAC 165 brush. And it looks like this. It's just like a pointed brush. So I'm just going to pat that on 
You don't want to swirl it around whenever you're setting it because that will just take some of the product off. And now I'm going to take the MAC 168 angled fluffy brush, that's what I call it anyway, and I'm going to be using that to just set my contour and I'm going to be using this color right here just a little bit because it's super pigmented. I'm just going to barely tap it like that and I'm going to contour or set my contour. like that. Okay, so I almost forgot because I usually don't contour my nose because it's kind of small and I don't really need to contour it. But when I do, I use the Morphe brush. I don't really know which one this is, but it's like an angled concealer brush. At least that's what I would call it. And I just put it into that dark brown color. And I just dab a line on the sides of my nose like this. And then using that same brush, I just Blend it out. So that's pretty much what I do for my nose. If I contour it, I usually don't. So the next part, since I've set all my contouring, I set my highlight, now that's pretty much it for my contour um it's pretty simple uh, i wouldn't do this every day it's a lot of makeup just when i want to look you know super sculpted and really really perfect that's the only time i do this like if i'm going to prom or if i'm going to a wedding i mean i'm not going to prom anymore i graduated but uh <laughs> that kind of scenario right there is what i would usually do this for because it is a lot of makeup and every day mm, I don't want to do this every day, it's very heavy. So that's what I do for my contour. <sighs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the finished contour look. I hope you guys liked it. I definitely love this contour palette from NYX. It is a gem and it's only like $8, I think. I don't know. I'll list it down below along with the price and I got that one in the color light um it is amazing all of nyx's products are amazing which is pretty much all i used for the contour i used nyx concealer the cream palette the contour palette powder palette Ugh. it's just amazing so i hope you guys enjoy this video and remember to hit like and subscribe to our channel so see you later